using the story guide tutorial. In this lesson, you will explore story guide level one, the step-by-step -step starting point for those new to Dramatica Story Expert. You will learn how to add or edit the project's title, logline, and various synopses. You will learn how to create players in the story guide, as well as assign the main character and influence character to players. You will also learn how to use the help view to find out information about each topic. In Dramatica Story Expert, either create a new file or continue with the Hansel and Gretel project. Save regularly as you progress through this tutorial. Click on the Story Guide icon or use the Project Story Guide menu command. This brings you to the Story Guide homepage. If for some reason you're not on the homepage, click the Home Page button to get you there. On the left side of the Story Guide window are buttons that lead you to the major sections of the Story Guide. Push the Story Guide button. This is the place to start for those new to Dramatica. Level 1 has approximately 65 topics and shouldn't take more than 4 hours to go through if you spend around 3 minutes per topic. Level 2 has everything in Level 1 plus an additional 10 topics or so. Level 3 has about 250 topics in it and may be used for in-depth development or analysis of your story. Level 3 is not recommended for those new to Dramatica until they've gone through Levels 1 and 2 at least one time. The other item worth mentioning is that Level 1 and Level 2 of the Story Guide are some of the few places in Dramatica Story Expert that must be followed linearly from beginning to end. Most places in the Story Guide and elsewhere can be explored in any order you wish. Click on the Level 1 button. The purpose of this tutorial is to give you a sense of how the Story Guide works without going through the entire process. Under other circumstances, I might recommend using Story Guide Level 1 to familiarize yourself with Dramatica Story Expert's process by moving from one topic to the next, making up a story as you go along. For the purposes of this lesson, we are going to pop around a bit enough to give you a taste of the process without dwelling on any particular topic more than another. In addition to the navigation buttons, you may use command keys to move up and down the topic list. Press command down arrow, which brings you to the how story guide works topic. Command down arrow is the equivalent of using the next topic button. Press command up arrow, which moves you up one topic to the story guide intro topic. Command up arrow is the equivalent of using the previous topic button. Click on the Getting Started Disclosure Triangle to show its subtopics. Click on the Getting Started Disclosure Triangle again to hide the subtopics. To show all the subtopics at once, option click on one of the disclosure triangles, such as the Getting Started Disclosure Triangle. Option click on the Disclosure Triangle again hides all the subtopics. Let's begin exploring the Story Guide Level 1. Open the Getting Started Disclosure Triangle. Click on the Story Title topic. If you are using the Hansel and Gretel story example, the title should already be there. Otherwise, change the title to Hansel and Gretel Go to Hollywood. Move to the next topic by pressing Command Down Arrow or Command Return. The current logline in Hansel and Gretel example reads, A brother and sister leave the Midwest to escape a mean stepmother and soon find themselves in the clutches of an evil Hollywood producer. Let's edit the logline by adding, when they make an escape, the producer's assistant, Bruno, tracks them down and brings them back. Click on the Create Characters topic. This topic lets you create new players from within the story guide. Press the Create a Character button. You are moved to the topic for the new character automatically. Rename this character Regina Stench. Tab to the Role field and add Stepmother. Click on the Gender pop-up menu and select Female. Click on the Main and Influence Disclosure Triangle to show its subtopics. Move to the Select Main Character topic either by clicking on it, using the Next Topic button, or pressing Command Down Arrow or Command Return. 
let's change the main character designation to Regina Stench. To do this, click on the Select the Main Character pop-up menu and choose Regina from the list of available players. Dramatica Story Expert will ask if you want to make Regina the new main character. Select Yes. Let's change the main character back to Hansel or main character by clicking on the pop-up menu again, reselecting the previous main character, and clicking on the Yes button to confirm the change. I think it's time to point out the help view in the story guide. The help view provides a tremendous amount of context-sensitive textual help for each of the topics. The default position of the help view is to be on the right side of the story guide window, though you may also change the location by using the help view pop-up menu. Changing the position to bottom moves the help view to the bottom portion of the story guide window. Changing the position to left moves the help view to beneath the topics list. In addition to moving its position, you may hide and show the help view using menu commands. Select View, Hide Story Guide Help, and the help view disappears. Select View, Show Story Guide Help, and the help view reappears. Change the help view display back to the right side of the window by selecting Right in the Help View pop-up menu option. In addition to controlling the position and visibility of the help view, you may also resize it using the help view splitter. The splitter is on the left side of the help view when the help view appears on the right side of the story guide window. Click and drag the splitter to make your help view larger or smaller. Let go when the splitter is in the right place for your needs. When the help view is on the bottom or left, the splitter is above the help view area. Last but not least, there are seven buttons in the help view. The first button is Explain, which provides an explanation for what the topic is about. The second button is Theory, which gives a reason why the topic is important as it relates to the Dramatica theory of story. The third button is Usage, which explains how the subject of the topic might be used in developing or analyzing stories. The fourth button is Help, which describes how to operate the controls in the window. The last three buttons only work for story forming questions and will be explained in the next tutorial, Making Story Forming Choices. Return to the Story Guide homepage by clicking on the Home button. Click on the Overview icon in the Icon toolbar to go to the Project Overview window. Save your changes by using the File Save command. This ends the Using the Story Guide tutorial.